When it comes time to send a fax, um, it depends on which model you have as to what the interface is going to look like. But the basic steps are always the same. Let me show you how. So the first step is with our new cable, I'm going to go over here to the line on the back of my Epson all-in-one and I'm going to connect the cable to the line outlet. When you're ready to fax your document, put it here into the feeder tray on top, face up. It'll beep at you when you've loaded it. Then go over here and navigate to fax and hit OK. Now you've got the different options here for color and black and white and if we wanted to adjust other settings we could get there by pushing the menu button but the defaults are generally good enough. Then all I have to do is type in the phone number that I want to send this fax to. You also have the option of having pre-programmed numbers already in your Epson. So if you want to access those, simply push the group dial button and you'll find whatever numbers you already have programmed in. In this case, let's go with Gabe. So I hit OK and you see his name and again the different options. There's color on this document, so I'm going to select color for this fax. I know he's got an Epson too. When you're all ready to go, just hit the start button and you're off and running. So as long as you remember those couple little pointers, well, you really can't go wrong. And that is just the fax, ma'am. Epson, exceed your vision.